stand. If you want, if you want to Got you, got you. <laughs> you guys ready to go to the beach? Yes. Yay. Yeah, let's go to the beach. Yeah. Like the God damn, for the keys. Off TikTok. What's going on, guys? We are here in Scarborough and we're about to go down the beach. About to go down the beach with the kids and have a little swim. Come along! Let's go, Sissy, go swim. Oh, put them on there, you wanna keep them? Oh, that's cold. She's gonna wash out the water again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's really cold. All right, welcome to Fitness Works Alawa. Absolutely love this gym. It's the first time getting a membership in 15 years. Big shout out to Shawnee Shepherd who hooked me up with this till March. The season finishes up here. Now, I started off with some legs. Keep in mind, I haven't done weights for three to four weeks. So I wanted to hit most muscles for a tune up. And everything I did was roughly three sets of around eight reps. Back wasn't feeling too good from the flights. So I kept away from squats. So I substituted that in for some leg press as you do. So I do a lot of calf raises around like eight to 10 reps with 40 second hold at the end of it. And obviously RDLs for the hammies are important for my program. So I keep them strong. Now bench press, I felt weak AF after time off. So I warmed up on around 60 kilos and then punched out 80 kilos. And then I had a crack of max reps at hundred. I think I did around six or something, but I usually get around eight to 10. Then I finished off with some shoulders and back. Again, my favorite is the ab exercises. As you see here, did 10 rollouts, trying to lock right out and 20 side to sides and max out on sit-ups. Let's go. So big shout out to Fitness Work here in Darwin. I think this is the Nightcliff one, not too sure, but it's the first time I had a gym membership in, I gotta say before I got drafted, so maybe 15 years, but I don't know if I had a gym membership growing up, but never had to worry about it. This place is awesome. Big shout out to Sean Shepard who hooked me up with this till March until the season finishes up here and go back to Brisbane. Um, I like it. I like the gym. It's got everything I pretty much need. I showed you through the little workout what I do, but um, today's the first time I've done weights in about three to four weeks. So I just took it easy. Uh, I know I'll be dummy tomorrow, but we've got a big game on Saturday coming up. So I hope you enjoyed that little part of the gym. I do get a bit embarrassed trying to film shit in there, so I didn't do too much, but finished a little ab workout. And now let's go to the jumper prezzo. So I haven't mentioned it, but I got selected in the NT rep team. The squad got cut down to 28 players, I'm pretty sure. And we play South Fremantle on Saturday, six o'clock here in Darwin, literally right there. So I'm going to take you through, Get the, I think it's jumper presentation tonight. So we're going to go through there, get the polo, get the jersey. There's a few good players on our team. So we're looking to get a big W this weekend, but I've only done two training sessions with the boys. I've been in Perth, obviously. So excited to be able to rep the NT. I've been wanting to do this for a long, long time. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm very honoured to be part of the team and hopefully get a big win, but we've got some likes of Stephen Motlop, um, Nick Yaron, my good mate, and a couple of Stokes boys from our team as well, so there he is, there's Motlop right there, so looking forward to it, it's going to be a bit of fun tonight, and then, uh, so yeah, come through. Stephen! Oh, sorry mate, I just want to say congratulations. <laughs> How long were you waiting? <laughs> like two minutes. <laughs> oh, Vice Captain Boy! Hey, Bradley! What is that? <laughs> is that your number on two? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, down, skis. You're a small. I'll get it. One yet, haven't dropped one. Oh, you don't go. That's an up in the air one. Yeah. Right on. 
Yours, yours, yours. Do you want to shoot? Anyway, all right? I've done this one. I'm learning. Sick of coming, I reckon. Yeah, Nicky, Nicky. Yeah, yours, 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 yours. Yeah, yours, 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 Nice Steven, I remember. Just went in front, yeah, in front. Yeah, 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 tight. Stance. If you want, if you want, if you want. Go. PJ. Fucking fantastic, yeah? What? Handball there, yellow footy, goal. Oh. <laughs> I was just calling for it, I was just calling for it. Yeah, brother, I got you, got you. Yeah, brother, 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 Alright, welcome to the Rob Vlog edition of the game. We played South Fremantle. They brought their, probably not their best team down, but they brought a pretty strong outfit uh, to TI Stadium here in Darwin. Nice little warm up here, we've got Harley Bunnell. Uh, he's looking in his best shape of his career that I've seen so far. I think he's gonna be playing the VFL this year, so excited to see how he goes with that. Might get another lifeline, who knows. A few steadies just before the game. Obviously love to get in rhythm and see how you're kicking the ball. Don't really worry about if you if you miss a few shots at goal because you just get the stinkers out of the way early. Little one from outside, Fitty, straight through the hay, diddle diddle. Little snap here on the run, just to see how I'm feeling. Snag! And before the game, we obviously stood for the national anthem, and this game was for the No More campaign. Obviously, everyone's against family violence, and that's what we stood for before the game. Really, really great initiative by the NTFL to get behind that. Last little chat here, a couple of bumps to get the, the shoulders warmed up, and then we're getting to our huddle. Little captain speech and uh, one, two, three buffs, which is cool because I uh, play for Darn Buffalo, so that was easy having a little laugh at about that. All right, here we go. First time playing with all these blokes. There's actually a couple of players from uh, Darn Buffalo's and Stokes Brothers, Jared and Bradley, so I know how to play with those guys. As I said, I've had a couple of weeks in Perth, so I haven't really played for a while, so I was just trying to get myself into the game. Big hit here really sets the standard early. Started on the ground on ball, but then came off uh, rotations for about three or four minutes long. Big steady, might love nice pickups. Has a little snap Rooney, doesn't go through obviously, but working in the game. 
Brody follow here, big hit, collects the ball. That kind of set the standard as well, get us going early. I think this turns into a goal. Goes over the back here, obviously, and I think he gets penalised for a deliberate rush behind. Stiff, but that's it. Can't do it. Nick Yaron here, selfless play, kicks it to Motlop, and we get that first goal of the day. So I just spread from the stoppage here, probably the first the touch of the game. Trying to get a sneaky 50 metre penalty here, didn't get it. Turn and go quickly. Get into our big two big key forwards and let them do the rest. Straight through the middle, goal assist. Got to get around him for that. Just another touch here in the back line. Just trying to get the tempo going a little bit, slow it down. From the stop here, just trying to spread the backmans out, trying to open up the corridor a little bit. Silk McLean, the captain, looks after me, gives me a nice little handball, and then I'll spot little mags late at the quarter mile. Never in doubt. Kick four for the day, four goals, three, I think. BOG. Love that one. And then get off the ground for a rest. It's bloody hot up here, I'm not going to lie. Pressure is awesome. Look how good Harley is. And then a little bit of a high contact there. So, quarter time, 3 2 20. To one goal five, they missed a lot of opportunities, but our pressure really ramped up. Little Nicky Yaron here, pushed up from the half forward. He's absolutely beast of a player. I absolutely love playing with him. Just keeps on going and going and going all day. And deal comes in. As so you're just trying to settle up a little bit, try and get a mark out of the back line because uh, Seth Fremantle were coming pretty hard in the second quarter. Stevie Motlove gets a little late hit here, probably a bit stiff on the South Korea player, but can't hit him after kick the ball. Not a bad turnout either, I absolutely love the crowd getting behind us. Here's where South Korea kick a couple of goals quickly, I really put us under the pump. So I was in midi, I was trying to get back to help support the defenders because they were under the pump for a fair bit of the second quarter. Try and get some run and dash off the back. Find a mark here and then get on the bike and you never know if you get a handball receive. This one goes behind me so I just try and surge it from the ground and luckily lands in Lance's lap and then we get little mags at the back. Goes back and dobs that one. And I am absolutely spent. Late in the quarter, I knew I had to go quick, and I saw Harley Bernal at the back. And he's got some space. He goes long over the top. He's got a player all by himself back there. And uh, Harley Bernal was just free out the back, but a terrific long kick from, uh, from Mitch Robinson. Must have been a 50 or 60 metre kick. Just Really need that one because they were getting away from us. Put us three points behind going into half time. Stevie Mother loving his tune. Yeah, the quarter's only going for 23 minutes, so we had a long half-time break, which is fair enough for the South Rio team because they hadn't played in this heat and humidity, so we're on the ground for a little bit longer than we wanted to be, but ready to go nonetheless. Need a big third quarter here. Oh. 
This is probably one of our best quarters. Um, it was definitely my best quarter of the game. She used a bit of body work here and get out to be able to get a clearance, try and surge it deep and put the defenders under pressure. Small forwards turn up. Stokesy, how good is this? Unselfish player, the Mags. I'll say he kicked that, but he didn't. I'm not going to lie, definitely going for a goal there. Just missed the right. Ball was slippery as up here in Darwin, but managed to get the handball away. Get it going forward. Stevie Mollop, this is why he's one of the best players that I've played with. One, two, a little bit of candy. Three, four bounces and hits up the target. I would have gone for goals for goal of the year, but unselfish player. Little Ronald was on Essendon's list for a couple of years. Picks an important goal for us. Really wanted to get a couple of goals early and we got away with uh, a couple. So right here I was pretty buggered, but I thought I wanted to uh, impose myself with some physicality in the game. Really wanted to lock the ball in our forward half and try and put them under pressure. Stephen Motlop just tries to toe poke through to his own advantage but uh, couldn't keep it in play. Yeah, Aiden Hall is on the ground there. Yep. He copped a heavy hit and he hasn't got up and he's rolling and I'm just wondering if he hasn't really damaged his ribs. They're going to, uh, I think they might hold play up here while he's dealt with. We'll see. No, they're going to keep going with it. So Nick has to just keep an eye on Hall as a strong. Taken try to be taken over there, it comes to, well, taken high there with Salmon, I thought. Let go, display on his call. Salmon, of course, the medical sub. Trying to get out of trouble here, South oh. now. It's not going to be good now. It's gone out of bounds on the full. They're going to have to stop play, I would have thought. Well, that will almost land on top of It did, didn't it? But uh, no, he's up and about. He's up and about. Little goal out of nothing here, just kept the ball on the forward line and a bit of pressure. And that was about it for me. Uh, put up a little tight in the hammy, so I sat the rest of the quarter out a few minutes into the last. So we're up by about 20, 30 points here, so I wasn't too worried. But uh, that was the game. Defensively, the Bulldogs go out, the siren sounds to end the game here in the top end of Australia. A two-goal win there to the NTFL side. Uh, Mitch Robinson early, I think he sat out most of the last quarter, but uh, uh, Stephen Motlop had some involvements, Jared Stokes, and uh, Dylan Lant really worked his way into the game as well. But uh... 